Topic of our presentation is business model of e-commerce. It will be presented by Suraj Kumar, myself Shubham Jha, Shubham Kumar Chaube and Sandeep Suman. So we will be presenting on business models of e-commerce. So this will be our agenda for today. We will first start with the introduction followed by the concept of models, components, the different types of business models, advantages, disadvantages and the conclusion. So let us proceed. First the introduction of e-commerce. The e-commerce is also known as electronic commerce. It refers to the buying and selling of goods or services using the internet and in return the transfer of money to execute the transaction. In the last two decades, there has been a widespread use of e-commerce platforms such as Amazon and eBay and these platforms have contributed to a very substantial growth in online retail. And when it came to the COVID pandemic, by the onset of the pandemic in 2020, the Online transactions, the online activities have risen to over 16% of the retail sales, which means in the 100% of the retail area, uh, around 16% is done in the online e-commerce activity. E-commerce is completely powered by the internet. Cu in the process involves customers access an online store to browse through the products and place the orders or any services via their own devices remotely. And the companies, they deliver to the deliver the product or service to the customer's doorstep. Now there are many advantages of uh, e-commerce. The first advantage is the wide variety of products. In fact, we have noticed in the Amazon logo, there is a slight arrow in the, in the bottom from A to Z, which initially means that the Amazon company has every range of products starting from A to Z. And, and eventually e-commerce, it consists of very wide variety of products. Second is the lower cost than the traditional shopping and selling. E-commerce generally involves lower cost than the traditional shopping and, and it also occurs, it also like provides customers a very convenient and time saving. And the last advantage is the faster business expansion, which means the companies can really expand their business and the customer acquisition cost becomes very low. Then we have e-business models. The e-business model, like any other business model, describes how a company makes a plan to generate revenue and make a profit from the operations which, is exe which it executes. The model includes various components and various functions of the business as well as the revenue it generates and the expenses it bears. Uh, in simple words, an e-business model is simply defined as an approach which a company takes to become a profitable business on the internet. There are many keywords that define aspects of e-businesses such as content providers, auction sites, internet retailers, many other business models like B2C, B2B and in e-business model there are mainly four pillars which are product innovation, infrastructure management, customer relationship and financial aspects. Next we have discussed the e-business model. Now there are the various components the e-business model has. The first one is value proposition. It focuses mainly on the customer's point of view, how customer thinks and what, what is the customer's requirement. It focuses on how to acquire customers and simultaneously how to reduce the customer acquisition cost as well. Second, we have revenue model. Revenue model is the prime component of the financial aspect of the e-business model which defines how the company will generate profits. All the accounting and auditing related stuff are performed here. And it also specifies that what are the possible sources of income they are present in the company. And next we have market opportunity, which means the total addressable market over which the company's product can travel. It is the revenue potential within a company's intended market space. Competitive environment. In this process, the members of the company identify that who are the competitors selling the same range of products in the same market space who are the already existing competitors this is done in order to manage the competitive risk and to thrive and survive in the market in marketing strategy it defines how a company tends to enter into a new market and attract strategy it involves a generous process of strategic decision making which will have a huge impact on the outcome of the business next we have competitive advantage in the, in the competitive advantage, the differentiating point of the business is identified, which means how a company will differentiate its business from the already existing competitors in the market. 
the differentiating point in the business world is also sometimes termed as USP which stands for unique selling point and lastly we have management team which is basically a fundamental and a core team responsible for company's growth and the com- proper functioning of the company in the next uh, good evening sir thank you subham myself suraj kumar now we will look to look into the types of business models in e-commerce so we have many types uh, present here like uh, b2b g2c b2c c2g and b2e and many more here b stands for business g stands for government c stands for consumer and e stands for employee next slide please we will look into the business to business model now so b2b which is business to business model so it consists of largest form of e-commerce as this is largest form because the both the buyer and seller are two different entities or you can say companies so it is like similar to the manufacturer issuing goods to the retailer or wholesaler as you can see in the picture uh, there is one wholesaler which goes on to the website and uh, sees some product and orders it in a mass in a bulk uh, amount and the order is processed by business organization and it is supplied to the wholesaler after that he sells to the consumer or uh, small retailers and it depends so next slide please now we will see the business to consumer b2c model in this model basically uh, it focuses on the interaction of between uh, business and consumer so uh, basic concept of this model is to sell the product online to the consumers you can see the like we use flipkart nowadays so it is the flipkart uses b2c business model basically customer goes on to the flipkart uh, sees some product and orders it from the flipkart uh, then business organization receives the order and supplies it to the customer this is basically the b2c model uh, next slide please yeah here it comes c2c which is consumer to consumer model so in this model customer interacts with another customer and they and after that the product is uh, transferred from customer 1 to customer 2 or either customer 2 to customer 1 uh, the la- example of uh, c2c model which we uses in our daily life is olx so uh, on olx a customer who needs to sell his product uh, puts uh, his uh, p- product on the olx and another customer who wants to buy it just interacts with the customer one and go for it so this is basically the c2c model now next is discussed by subham kumar chave thank you sir thank you suraj now uh, we will discuss on consumer to business model in consumer to business model consumers create values and businesses benefits from that value think about one company hiring a freelance writer or simply reading customer reviews that's their ideas for innovation that is consumer to business model in consumer to business model it flips the traditional business models on its head to focus on value that originates with the consumer of and this e-commerce model uses an intermediary to meet audience online such as a platform where business can browse consumer profiles and choose whom to hire like upwork or an influencer marketing platform next one is business to government model next slide please yes in business to government model it is an e-commerce business model where a business markets its product to government agencies if you want to choose this e-commerce model you will have to bid buy it on government contracts governments usually put up request for proposals and e-commerce businesses then have to buy it on the government projects in most cases a government agency would not come to place an order on your e-commerce website however some lo- uh, local government agencies are exceptions to the, to the rule depending on their needs and the next one is consumer to government model in consumer to government business model consumers conduct transactions with the government such as citizen paying taxes these transactions might also be related to educational or social security in c2g business model fosters communication between consumers and the government it gives consumers a direct line to share feedback or information with public sectors making it easier for citizens to use government sponsored services and the next one is government to business model in g2b model it is a model that are go- uh, that is owned by government agencies that offer services to businesses this might look like business licenses electronic forms or registering a startup online 
businesses act as the con- act as the customer in g to be purchase cycles it is the government's job to offer valuable and convenient digital services and information and the next slide will be discussed by sandeep thank you shubham now the next model of our discussion is government to citizen g2c basically the g2c model is a part of e governance the goal of g2c is to provide one stop online access to information and services to individuals your citizens should be able to find and access what they need quickly and easily uh, that's the basic of this uh, model for this purpose governments use g2c model websites to approach uh, citizen uh, the main objective of g2c websites is to reduce the average time for fulfilling citizens requ- requests uh, for various government services Uh, some example of these services would be uh, like aadhar services national voter services passport services uh, services like uh, cyber crime reporting portal etc a case study uh, a recent case study of uh, this model would be uh, our vaccination portal uh, we have seen how government uh, very conveniently uh, issued uh, vaccination certificates and uh, give us appointments using this portal next slide now next model is peer to peer p2p model uh, it is a decentralized model where two individuals interact to buy or sell goods and services directly there are no in- intermediaries uh, no third party is involved so basically if uh, we can see a seller uh, can list his item on ebay or websites like that and another buyer can directly buy from there next slide advantages of business models to the uh, what are the advantages to the organization uh, these models uh, bring faster and eff- uh, efficient solutions uh, these are less pap- there are less paperwork uh, improvisation of brand image of the company for the customers there are 24 into 7 customer support quicker delivery organizations provide substantial discounts to customers for the society there is less traffic resulting in low pollution public services delivered at low cost now there are some disadvantages so for the technical part rapidly changing softwares uh, is one of the disadvantage so businesses have to look care of uh, to update their uh, technical softwares next is uh, network bandwidth lack of system security etc uh, for non technical part uh, the initial cost is uh, little higher uh, lack of product may be there uh, and for user in resistance so that's all thank you thank you very good presentation thank